Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java game application development, bouncing balls. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration of bouncing ball Java based game application development using Java FX graphical user interface API. This demonstration is divided into three parts. First, we'll see a small demonstration on how we can draw and make an animation using multiple bouncing balls. In the second part of the session, we'll see a demonstration on bouncing balls game with some control with basic animated moving balls. And in the last session, the third session, we'll include a homework part of thing where we'll see, we'll show you a practice project idea to make some more advanced features and we'll show you a demonstration with some more feature you can add it in your game. Now let's start with the animated bouncing ball design. When we come up with the JavaFX graphical user interface, first we need to create a scene, a kind of a stage and a canvas where we paint and make some graphics inside it. To have a graphics in the canvas, you need to paint some object. You can have a circle, any kind of shape, 2D shape, 3D shape, an object, an image that can be included in your canvas, a kind of a paint. So that when it were, whenever it comes to a, a graphics part of thing, you use canvas in JavaFX. Now random help you to make number of objects which is moving uh, in any number. So that is called the random which is included in your Java util package. All you need to include that package and use the random num random class object and that class object will help you to create number of balls, a random number of balls which is moving randomly. Distance. Now when it comes to the bouncing balls or any kind of animation, we need to work with the coordinates. We have seen the graphs like X axis and the Y axis and those coordinates help you to locate and to position the, any specific object you have chosen in your canvas. So basically what is happening, we divide the canvas into X axis and Y axis and we coordinate those X and Y axis and pass it as an argument into the distance method. That will help you to position or location of your object. So this is the concept and this is the design of the bouncing ball animated object. Now in case of bouncing, ba ba bouncing ball class, we have some method which we are going to use it for a setup and a drawing and the speed. All these things can be manipulated in the code. Since it is a kind of a animated auto executed thing which you cannot control after the execution. So this particular object can be used as in many ways and in screen saver or any way. So since it does not have any kind of controls is just an animated object example. So all you need to create a constructor which is instantiate automatically and has some values and to start the thread of that particular object. Now here we are going to use geometry to have an object of it. Since we are going to access uh, the object like a shape of a ball or any kind of another object you can move some kind of animation you want to create. For example you have a Christmas E grating and for that you need to make an animation of a reindeer flying over the moon. So in the canvas in the background you can have a Christmas night uh, with a full moon uh, background and have an object of a Santa or any kind of reindeer which is flying over the moon. So flying over the moon you can use the coordinates and object you can use your reindeer. Now development, when it comes to the development, all we need a main class and the drawing app class which is going to implement all the design objects you have decided. Random number of balls with random movements that is already implemented as we have discussed. Now when it comes to the execution as I mentioned, it's just an auto execution. No controls can be used as a screensaver or e-greeting and can be used as any object. 
Now let's take a look at the execution. So this uh, is a kind of an uh, example of uh, animated bouncing balls. Now let's see the demonstration. So this is my Eclipse IDE and here is my bouncing ball class and drawing app class. Drawing app class contains all the basic concept of uh, drawing in uh, balls and paint and canvas and have a none uh, there is no such uh, controls and event handling has been done here so since bouncing ball has a main launcher so this is what the execution you can see so number of balls number of uh, balls with the random number uh, random type of colors and size there is no control as such now what all things you can change interestingly is your width and height of the canvas the frames and uh, suppose I wanted to change uh, your uh, background that can be done using here so, and if I can execute it again so here so you can change the background color you can change the speed and uh, so many ways you can implement it and manipulate it you can change the colors which is going which is chosen as a random here so this is what the execution of animated bouncing balls now let's go to the second section of this demonstration is bouncing ball game. Now here this type of game is a very basic. The design part is the same way like we have a stage style, we have scene, circle shape kind of ball. Now we are going to add a little event handling here. What is going to happen? The requirement is when you click on the ball it will be disappeared and exit from the program. Geometry is the same way we are going to have the coordinates and x-axis and y-axis will be sent it to the as an argument from the constructor and the object the ball is going to be moved randomly and when the cursor or the mouse clicked on the ball it will exit that's what the condition so development will go like this bouncing ball game dot java is the main only class and having a main launcher start method is going to be overridden and passing the stage argument pane is going to be created here and action event was going to be handled passing the coordinates and mouse click on the ball will make it disappear and exit from the program so in this game it is an auto execution exit when mouse click so event handling is there and it can be used to basic and improvised version as a ball game bouncing ball game bouncing ball game now let's go to the demonstration and see how it execute. So this is actually my game application, bouncing ball game application and this is my first game. So you can see here, what is happening here, this is the red ball and this is my paint and when I click on the ball, it disappears, it exit from the program. Now interestingly, what all things you can make changes here if you see instead of crimson let's make a tomato and uh, instead of bisque let's make it transparent so interestingly if you will make like this and execute it you will see the ball The canvas is created with this uh, size and the color of the background is this and the ball is this. The background is basic nothing but the scene and in the canvas we are creating all these uh, painting this particular frame. So what all things you can make changes in this uh, a kind of animated with some handling greeting card. A very fancy e greeting you can create a greeting card you can create where uh, you have a background and an object is flying and when you click it will disappear so this is what the execution of bouncing ball basic game now let's take a look at the practice project idea a bouncing ball game with some more features in this project what is going to be happen here there will be a actually a two-player game but one is with control 
here the ball is moving from left to right and these bars is going up and down when the ball bounce on these walls or these wires it will bounce back to the another wall and if it missed then uh, you will lose a point so this is what the game now let's take a look at the execution so this is my eclipse ide and here is my game this is my main launcher and uh, if you see the game so interestingly If I missed, it will go. So this is only like I have one control. The left bar is the only control. Another one is automatic. So you can add more features on it to have two-player control, integrated in online game application, and uh, have two more controls. It is a very basic. It is not uh, improvised and completed yet. You can work and uh, complete it. That that's how it is. You can add more features with a timer and the score for the player name and exit program properly. This is what the bouncing ball game application implemented in Java FX graphical user interface API. For more assistance, source code needed, or any kind of queries please feel free to contact techrench2019 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative demonstration let's make coding fun thank you